Yeah, that's tough um, because those two women have meant so much to our program. And, you know, when you coach somebody for four and five years, you get to know them really well and you build relationships. And, and I mean, it's like a family. And so to not to think of the locker room next year without Monica and McKenna being there, um, it's almost it's almost too much right now to think about. Uh, I, I want to coach them again. I wish I could coach them again tomorrow. How Are special you? is it to school loyalty that the starting five is out of this program and how far they've come? In a day where the transfer portal and, you know, jump, 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 and, you know, the next best thing to, to have five women that stay together and believed in each other and instead of, you know, work through things instead of jumping to the next place, shows you the type of people they are. How would you describe Caitlin's maturity and growth? I mean, she didn't take any bait out there and obviously is answering these questions pretty yeah. pretty You know, way. It's, it's hard. That, that girl gets, you know, the best defender all the time. She gets people talking to her all the time. She gets people that, you know, want to tear her down and she doesn't go for it. And I think that her growth, especially this year, has been outstanding, has been outstanding. That's why that technical foul, I think, hurts even more because I know how far she's come. I know that that what wasn't any intent, I'll have to watch it on film, but there was no intent whatsoever for her to disrespect the game in any way. And for her to get that, I don't know, it's not right. After that technical, that pushes her from three fouls to four. Yeah. How does that adjust your game plan as a coach? Completely. I mean, we're playing handcuffed, right? I mean, we're playing with three people that have four fouls. We're playing with uh, Monica Sonano plays half a game today. She's the, one of the best shooters in America, and she plays 20 minutes. I mean, I just feel bad for my two seniors having to go out of this game without being able to be on the floor. A couple more questions. How much do you think this season has redefined when people, you know, we've talked about the sport, but when people see Iowa Women's Basketball Day, you guys are, are in this upper echelon and, and belong, um, you know, year in and year out. I, I hope that when people see women's basketball at Iowa, they think they're proud. Um, they're proud of the University of Iowa. They're proud of the product. Um, they want to be a part of it. Um, and there's room, you know, there's room to join along with us. So um, I just hope that they're really proud of of where we've taken this program. Especially as motivating Yeah, I don't know. You know, I need to think about that a little bit, about what she needs to work on, what we want. You know, last summer we were going to try to add some post-ups to her game, and it really didn't go the way we wanted it to. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to really um, reflect on that and kind of think of, you know, how I can help her, you know, grow her game even more. And that's, you know, I, I got to sit down and figure that out. It's my responsibility. Big deficit there, but you came out swinging in the third quarter. Uh, what was the halftime like for you guys? And also, what does it say about your team? You know, we kept believing at halftime. We honestly did. And we came out and got it to within seven points. I'm proud of the fight that these women had coming out there. Uh, they could have, you know, laid down and they didn't. They just kept fighting. And I'm just so proud of them for that. 23 years, why was this team special? Any time you, you accomplish something that's never been accomplished, it's pretty special, pretty special team. So, you know, we made it to the national championship game. That's something that's never happened in the Iowa women's basketball history. And we have a storied history. Um, we had the player of the year again. So a lot of great things to be, to be thankful for. We are genuinely blessed. We really are. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.